Welcome to the first episode of the weekly business show where we talk about everything concerning business that is of significance this week. My name is Momo and welcome to the show. has announced that it wants to buy a rival bank. GT Bank has been in the country for quite a few years now and is in 12 countries across the continent. They have over 1 trillion shillings in assets, meaning that the loans they have given out to their members and looking at their trajectory this year, it looks like there is going to be quite some trade between Kenya and Nigeria. Last year we had Access Bank which came in and bought off Transnational Bank and we are looking forward to some of these acquisitions and mergers coming in the near future. There has been talk also of JP Morgan Chase coming to Kenya very very soon so we are hoping that this will actually bolster the banking industry in the country. This week, Treasury capped the amount of import duty free sugar that can be brought in into the country. Before it was 300,000 tons and now it is being capped at 230,000 tons. This is good news to the local sugar makers and producers who have been complaining about the cheap sugar that is coming from other countries in Comesa and hurting the prices that are in the country. In my own opinion, this is a good thing, but the Kenyan producers need to work a little harder to make sure that their cost of production still remains low so that they can be able to compete with the sugar that is being imported from other countries. The Treasury has actually stated that anyone who exceeds this limit will then be charged 100% duty on the sugar that they have imported that is in excess. I think this is a good way of them making sure that sugar in the country is at a sustainable level. The only thing that needs to be watched here is the fact that the people who are importing the sugar are usually people with means and that means people who are politicians or business people who have the money and this can bring a glut in the economy itself. In the news this week, KRA has netted 300 million from a tax amnesty plan that they announced in January. In this plan that was announced on January 1st, taxpayers who had evaded tax for the past five years were eligible to get a tax write-off. And this was going to take care of any arrears and any penalties that had been placed on your profile. And if you did a voluntary plan, then you could be able to qualify for the same. In the last two months, Kerry has been able to get 300 million in commitments from taxpayers who have joined this program. This is an effort by Kerry to make sure that it continues to increase its tax net and also be able to meet the targets that it has. As is common knowledge, we have a very high public debt in the country and this is a good way that they can be able to bring in more people. There are also other taxes that were introduced in January, including the digital services tax and the minimum tax. All this is to be able to get more people to pay tax and to be able to increase their own coffers. If you like this show format and this show, please let me know in the comments below. Make a meaningful comment on any other news that you'd like to hear about and my opinion on the same. We are hoping that this will become a regular show. Subscribe to the channel, smash that like button until it turns blue. See you in the next video.